You're just a few steps away from collecting data with your Explorer GLX. Together we'll walk through those steps to collect some temperature data. So make sure you have your Explorer GLX handy. You either want to have it charged or have your power adapter. Don't worry about having this cable. We're just using it to show you a better picture of our screen. You also need a temperature probe. So grab those things and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your Explorer GLX is powered on. You do that by pushing the power button right here. When it does turn on, it opens to this home screen. From this screen, you can access any of the 12 GLX screens represented by these 12 icons. To move through the icons, push the arrow keys. To open up one of the screens, push the check mark after you've selected it. Remember that at any time, even during data collection, you can get back to the home screen by pushing this home button. For even easier access, the four most commonly used screens have been placed on the bottom row of the home screen and associated with one of the function buttons underneath it. In order to get to that screen, just push the button and there you go. So let's go ahead and open up a graph display by pushing the F1 button. Now we're ready to plug in a temperature probe into the left side of the Explorer GLX. You see here that there are four ports. The first two are for the temperature probes. The third one is for your voltage probe, and the last one is for a sound signal output. So go ahead and plug the temperature probe into either of the first two ports. And did you notice what happened? The GLX automatically recognized the temperature probe and plotted temperature on our y-axis and time on our x-axis. It's now ready for some data. So let's go ahead and push the big start stop button in the middle of the Explorer GLX. We are now collecting two data points every second. One indicator that we are collecting data is that continuously moving clock on the top bar of the Explorer GLX screen. Of course, the obvious indicator that we are collecting data is that data points are appearing on our graph. And you notice at the end of the data run, that circle, that's your data cursor, and its coordinate points are at the top of the GLX screen. It is currently set to be on the most recently recorded data point. Let's go ahead and take the tip of the probe and put it in the palm of your hand. Let's see just how fast that fast response temperature sensor responds. Notice that as more and more data points are collected, the graph display automatically rescales its axis. You can actually rescale it yourself, and the easiest way to do that is by pushing the F1 key, which is now associated with the auto scale function. Go ahead and push it. Now, the axes have been rescaled so that you have an optimal fit of the data points on the graph. <coughs> Let's go ahead and push the start stop button again to end data collection. You have just collected your first run of data. Notice that on the top bar that our clock has changed back to a picture of the start stop button indicating that the Explore GLX is now ready for you to collect another run of data. So have at it. But if you're interested in exploring some of the many possible investigations that you can do with your Explorer GLX, or if you just want to learn how to use the screens or some of the buttons, check out some of the lessons that we've created for you. Happy exploring.